What's up everybody, it's Mr. Second Passport today. We're gonna take a look at a deal I just got word of right on the beach uh, in Manta, Ecuador, right on the boardwalk area, kind of where everyone wants to be. And uh, it's a beachfront, ocean view condo in a high rise that's two bedroom, two bath, and it's 100 square meters, so it's a pretty decent sized. It's like uh, 1,200 square feet, something like that. Uh, so let's take a look. Obviously, this is the view here, and uh, this is the kitchen area and living area. It comes furnished. It's being rented for $550 a month, including the condo fee. Now, why do I think this is a good deal? Well, it's hard to find something right on the beach with an ocean view in Monta in a newer building uh, like this for under seven seven fifty. So for five fifty, I definitely like the price, and it's including the condo fee, and it's furnished, right? So hard to beat that. Two bedroom, two bath, obviously is is very use useful, much more useful than a one bedroom. So I, I definitely like that too. And uh, you got to figure. Uh, there's the bathroom there, pretty well finished. Not bad, not luxury, but not bad. Um, this you're in a building with 24-hour guard and a pool. I've been told, as well as your own parking place, private parking. So, obviously, and uh, you have a little storage area. So, bodega. So this is a, uh, you know, that's another look at the beach there and in the, the pool area, and uh, <clears throat> you know I. I like this deal and unlike most real estate channels, uh, this one I'd like to think is a little different because, you know, sometimes it makes more sense to rent, actually a lot of times, right? I would say 9 out of 10 in a place like Ecuador. It just depends. Like a condo like this right on the beach in Monto with this ocean view uh, with its size, 100, meter, 100 square meters in a kind of a newer building with the pool. Uh, you're looking at about a hundred, hundred twenty thousand dollars to buy it, right? So why would I like to rent in this case? Well, if you rent at five fifty, what these people are asking, and those people don't even get five fifty, right? Because they usually have to pay the condo fee, which is around a hundred, hundred twenty bucks. So taking into account they're only making four hundred fifty, the owners of this condo a month, right? That's a payback time, right? <clears throat> of 22 years, right, is when they'd see their their money paid back in full. That's a 4.5% uh, return on investment or cap rate. And it's for me, it's just not a good investment, right? There's a lot of other places you can put your money here in Ecuador or in the U.S. or even in, I hate to say, but in an S&P 500 index fund, and you could probably be 4.5%. Even in the uh, in the cooperativas, the credit unions down here in Ecuador, uh, where I have some money deposited, uh, you can easily get around nine percent a year doing nothing, just depositing the money in a fixed rate CD one year uh, term deal. So, I mean, you can double your return, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about maintenance. You don't have to worry about dealing with people. Right, there's just uh, so many positives to not buying. Uh, unless it's just a super deal like I try to show occasionally on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button below to be notified of more uh, listings and videos like this as soon as they become available. Um, but unless it's a super deal or you just absolutely can't, you just love the property, uh, then it might make sense to buy. But nine times out of ten, uh, makes more sense to rent, at least right now here in Ecuador.